Gravitational Waves Explained. In 1916, Albert Einstein made an amazing prediction that space and time are rippling with shock waves caused by the motion of massive objects. Physicists have spent decades searching for these elusive space-time tremors, called gravitational waves. Now, a hundred years later, we've found them, opening up a whole new chapter in our exploration of the cosmos. Just as dropping a stone in a pond will produce ripples, the most massive objects in the universe, things like neutron stars and black holes, create waves when they crash into each other. These waves shake the fabric of space-time itself, causing tiny tremors in the atoms that make up all matter. We're not kidding when we say say tiny. Gravitational waves are about a billionth of the diameter of an atom. Hunting for them means using super high-powered lasers that can detect minuscule changes in the position of distant objects. That's what the LIGO observatory just did, directly detecting gravitational waves for the first time. Why should you care about gravitational waves? Well, they are a key prediction of Einstein's general theory of relativity. If they don't exist, that would mean there's something wrong with the way we've been describing our universe for the past century. In turn, that could point to entirely new types of physics we do not yet understand. This positive detection allows us to directly test predictions about how the force of gravity works, especially when we're dealing with extremely heavy objects, say a neutron star that's about six miles across and weighs as much as our sun. Gravitational waves also provide a window into some of the most elusive events in the cosmos. It's very hard to study a black hole or a neutron star using telescopes on Earth because these objects typically don't emit light. Gravitational waves are like a fingerprint, traveling across space and time, from their source, without being distorted by matter. By studying their waveforms, which look a lot like sound waves, we can learn about the nature of the celestial objects that produce them. Finally, we can use gravitational waves to create a census of highly energetic cosmic collisions. Until this point, physicists have only been able to theorize about, say, how many black hole collisions are taking place across space. Now that the age of gravitational wave detection has begun, we can start testing these predictions for the very first time. 